What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today I got something a little different for you, right? You know, I try to mix things up all the time, all right? This is for you Juul users. Today we're going to be going over the J-Mate P2. It's kind of cool, man. It's like a charging system that you can carry your Juul in, and you can carry three spare pods in it. There is your J-Mate. Now, of course, yours isn't going to have Juul pods in it. Mine was already in there. You can see we got some J-Mate branding over here. This is the slot that will hold up to three Juul pods. So if you have a Juul device with a pod in it, you can put three in here and one in the actual pod device itself. So you're carrying four pods. That's kind of cool for people who like to switch flavors. I'm like that. I love to switch flavors. This part is blank. There's nothing there. It's probably part of the battery. The battery is probably in the middle and here okay so again the battery is 800 milliamp hour battery in here you can see these two gold plated contacts right there okay this is the part where you slide your jewel into let me show you what i'm talking about you take your jewel and you just pop it in there just like that now mine's not charging because it's fully charged but while it's sitting in here you can get four charges from dead to full on your jewel so that's kind of cool, right? Because this is an 800 milliamp hour battery, but a regular Juul charger, the one that comes with it, will only charge your Juul at a half an amp. This will charge your Juul at one amp. So that's really, really cool. Now it measures in at 31 by 29 by 115. So like I said before, on this little thing, you can have one Juul in there with a pod installed, and then three more spare pods on this side. Not a bad deal at all. On the bottom here, now you can tell when I turn it upside down, nothing slides out, so that's kind of cool as well. On the bottom here, you have four LED lights that let you know what your battery life is on the actual accessory. There is your micro USB port. You can just put it on a table like that. It stands up perfectly, no problem. You can lay it down too if you would like to. You can see now it's charging, all right? Just a really, really nice device. I wish they would have sent me the flat one. The first one I saw, I guess it's the P1, it's the flat one. I would have liked the flat one better, but I have been using the hell out of this. This thing lives in my bag. I just love it. All right, insiders, we're not really gonna do pros and cons today because there's not really a lot to go over on this thing. Basically, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about my experience using the P2. Now, they sent me two, okay? And I'm glad they sent me two. I like when companies send me two of each product just in case there's a problem with one. And in this case, there was. The first one that I opened up, I had a dead jewel, and it wouldn't charge it from dead. I was like, whoa, what's going on here, right? Because as soon as I got it, I was like, this is perfect, man. My jewel is dead. Let me drop this thing in here, see how long it takes to charge, right? It would not charge it from dead. So I said, all right, let me try the second one, right? The second one I opened up, I popped it in there, it charged it from dead. So then I let the jewel die again, right? And I tried it on the first one, it would not charge it. I charged a little bit, just a little bit, maybe, you know, five, ten minutes, and then I dropped it in the one that wouldn't charge it from dead, and it started charging it. So I don't know what the problem is, why the one can't bring the jewel back from dead. It's definitely an issue. I'm glad they sent two. Hopefully it's a one-off issue. I don't know, but that's my experience. Now, as far as using this thing goes, I have to say, man, I've been enjoying it. I tell you guys all the time, I'm always commuting. I'm always on the train. I'm always on the buses and stuff. And it's nice to have something small like this that holds three pods and my jewel while it's in my bag. I've been tossing this in and out of my bag, no issues. The pods stay in place. The jewel actually stays in place. It's been a nice experience, and I definitely recommend it if you are a jewel vapor. This is a nice charging system to have. Now, it's funny. When they first sent me this one, this is the second version, and it's got like a cylinder shape to it, right? I was counting on them sending me the first version, which is more of a flat shape to it and only holds two pods, if I remember correctly. I think I'd enjoy the flat shape better, and if they wind up sending it to me, I'll review that as well, but... You know, this cylinder shape can be a little awkward. I think I would have liked the flat shape better since most of the time I'm putting this thing in my bag. 
But that's it, man. That's all I got for you guys today. I mean, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe. If you're a Jewel Vapor man, this is something you'll definitely want to check out, especially if you're one of those people that are constantly on the go and you might not always be near your charger. You know, the nice thing about this, too, is this is a nice replacement for somebody who actually lost their Jewel charger because people you lose those little chargers all the time. You know, you could go out and buy yourself something like this and you're able to charge your Jewel up again and take it with you. So that's a definite pro. So that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 pod systems. Now, last year was the year of the pod, without a doubt. And I know 